before we reach the badlands. Si, sí, Tia Maria. In case we get held up, we won't have to fight on empty stomachs. I beg your pardon. Your reference to the badlands. Do you mean we're apt to run into trouble on this land? Si, senor. There have been many holdouts, rustling and smuggling at the border. And murder, too. You see, senor, the old foreman of our rancho was killed by mistake by a United States marshal in a gun battle with these desperados. But they killed his Marshal Gordon, too, before he realized what he had done. Well, that's too bad. I know many marshals. I imagine this Marshal Gordon was quite a fine fellow. Si, sí, senor, he was. He was a good friend of my father's. You are new to this border country, senor. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm new to this country. Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Robbins, John Robbins. I have some business in Border City. A long ways from Washington. Washington? We have but come from Washington, too, senor. We attended your president's ball to pay the respects of my father, Colonel Jose Garcia, who was too ill to attend. You live on this side of the border? Oh, no, senor. Our rancho de Garcia is in Encendidos, just across the border in Mexico. Let's see. You're going across the border to meet Senoritas Rosita and Maria, eh? Yep, they're due on the next stage. And how's Senor Garcia today? Better, I hope, Senor? No, he's really not so well. But you know him, Captain. He'd never let Rosita know how sick he really is. So what does he do? Makes me help him out of bed and into the patio so he'll be sitting up when she comes. Ah, uh, si, sí, Senor. It was a great shock to him when your father was killed. You are doing a fine job running the ranch in his place. But still, uh, we must work together to bring these outlaws who have caused so much trouble to justice. Uh, you are keeping a sharp lookout at the ranch, you see? Oh, well, sure, you betcha. Well, I'm, I better shove off. Senorita Maria will chew my ears off if I'm not there when the stage pulls in. <laughs> and Rosita, you are going to marry her soon. Eh, amigo? Well, I don't know about that. Anyway, it'll be swell to have her back. Well, see you later, Cap. Adios. I just hacked up one of these in your saloon. Dear doggone bad we couldn't have recognized at least one of those coyotes. Then we'd have his pick. Yeah. Does that include my thousand? Mm -hmm. And the citizen surely appreciates such a large dollar. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Joe. How's the Colonel? Uh, he's not so good. Oh, that's too bad. I'm going across the street and tack up one of these in Sam's chop house. Put one up in my store, too. Might as well plaster the town with him. Maybe we'll get some action. I'll do that. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, thanks. I've got to be on hand when that stage pulls in. Come on, it won't be on time. Why won't it? Oh, the new driver and guard with women aboard are just imagine they're taking a little easy. Wait a minute, Scully. You and Slade aren't forgetting that the Garcias are not to be molested in this deal. Well, of course not. I was just thinking what a pompous old gal Senorita Marie is. She probably gave him orders not to bounce her man T out of whack with a fast ride, outlaws or no outlaws. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. 
smart of you, stranger, to offer no resistance. Maybe I have a lot of respect for fellows like you. You are a coward for stopping, senor. Lucita! Now, senorita, you can hand out the Garcia jewels. Jewels? I do not know what you're talking about. We have no jewels. No? Drag them out and search them. Get out of here! Don't you dare touch me! She has quite a temper. You'd save yourself a lot of trouble if you just reach in on the seat beside her. Go in and get them. You miserable dog! Give me back my jewels! Don't speak that I'm going to kill you! All right, stranger. Now you can drive the women to Border City. Thank Who? you. What a coward you are, senor, for helping them. I'm awfully sorry about the jewels, lady, but it's the only thing I could do to save our lives. Why, you... You better get in. Fine time of day to be mopping up that should have been done this morning. Swamp. Why don't you look what you're doing? <laughs> Try to give me a bath, will you? Now, suppose you start ducking. Now, get out and wash that crummy face of yours. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What are you butting in for, stranger? What are you getting all riled up about for? That was just an accident. Accident nothing. You ought to know how to handle a mop by now. Well, some people are born to handle mops. Some aren't. But you seem to know so much about it. Just pick up that mop and show him how. Now pick that up and start mopping. Well, I swear. I've been a swamper for 30 years, but I always did declare a fellow was never too old to learn. What's this all about? Who are you? My name is McCall. I'm a cattle buyer from Kansas. This fellow doesn't seem to think your swamper knows his business, so he's just showing him how to do the job. So you're a cattle buyer, huh? That's right. My name's Scully. If you're looking for some good cattle deals, maybe I can help you out. What's livestock selling for around your part of the country? Oh, around ten, twelve dollars a head. Suppose we have a drink and talk it over. No, thanks. I'm more interested in a square meal right now. Where's a good place to eat around here? There's old Sam's Chop House across the street. I'll go over and put on the nose bag, and when I come back, I'll talk to you about that livestock. And in the meantime, you keep mopping. You. Cut it out, Max. Come on, have a drink and cool off. And you get busy mopping. Sure, boss. Sure. Sure. Here comes the stage with the strange driver on. Must have been held up again. Marshal Gordon was killed. It was terrible. They held him up. They killed the driver and the guard. And this stranger brought us in. And you, senor, gave them my jewels. Not the Garcia jewels. Yes. You'd have done the same thing, Sheriff. Their lives were in danger. Can't let our women get hurt. Huh. I'll talk to you later about this. I'll be around. Why don't you arrest that man? He can't leave town. I'll get my boys and see if I can't pick up the trail and the rest of those bandits. Maria, look at that. Where's Joe? Joe! Rosita! Joe! You're all right. They didn't hurt you. No. But 
Aren't you glad to see me? Uh, sure I am, honey, but... Maria, you're all right? See, but I never had a worse experience. I told Jose we should have never taken Rosita's jewels, as you warned us, Joe. Your father's waiting for you, honey. How is father, Joe? Well, I think he'll feel a lot better when he sees you. Come on, the carriage is down the street. What are you gawking at? Who, oh, me? Oh, I just trying to place that on with this driver in that stage. Sure looks familiar. No, I can't spot him. But I will. I got a memory like an elephant. I never forget a face. No, sir. Yeah? Well, it ain't healthy to have too good a memory around here. Go on, get back to your work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Seems like it's getting to be a habit for strangers to drive our stage in. Yeah, it seems to happen quite often. My name's Robin, John Robbins. Oh, how do you do? John Rob. Oh, yes, a uh, fellow left a horse here for you. It's been here for a couple of days. Well, I could use one. Have you got a place here I can change clothes? Sure, there's a room in the back. Thanks. Of a big reward, isn't it? Yeah. Ed Scully swelled it with a thousand dollars. That's him over there now, talking to the Garcias. Well, we better be going. Bye. Adios. Adios. Thanks. That door there. What about my flapjacks? Oh, yes, your nose flapjacks. I get kind of excited when there's so much... My flapjacks. Oh, yeah. Coming up right away, sir. Coming up right away. I'll get them for you. Okay. <coughs> Ain't you the fellow that bought in the stage coat? That's right. Yeah, I'd like to have a cup of coffee and some flapjacks that look mighty good. I'll bring them right up. They're coming right up. Coming right up, sir. Someone found out the girl was carrying the Garcia jewels. Somebody from the Garcia ranch must have tipped them off. They're the most valuable jewels in all Mexico. Somebody from the Garcia ranch, eh? Yeah, and the girl also told me that Ted Gordon was killed on that ranch. It's going to be a pleasure evening up that score for Ted. Right. Killer's working in a saloon across the street. <laughs> I know it. I was over there a little while ago. Hadn't he got a job? Scully, the owner, seemed pretty interested when I told him I was a cattle buyer. But he played back in the cave? Well, is he? Yeah. Take a look at these things, fellas. Don't let them blind you. Are they real? Real. They're real enough to bring more money than we've ever seen. Now, you two get going and tell Scully I'll bring them across myself at midnight. Joe Collins isn't going to like this, Slade. He's in this deal up to his neck. He'll like anything Scully or I say. Yeah, I guess he will. Wait a minute. While you're across the line, tell Scully to double check that stranger that was so quick to help us grab this stuff. Yeah. I don't get it. Neither do I. And I want to know more about that hombre, Sally. Yeah, we get you. Come on, Gus.
Joe. Wonder what's eating him. I don't know. Scully was to use this ranch for Russell Cattle in a hideout. That's right. It wasn't to rob the Garcias or molest them in any way. Now, take it easy, kid. Cool off. You've got nothing to worry about. You didn't steal these jewels. No, and I didn't have anything to do with your killing Marshal Gordon. And I don't believe my father did, either. That's not what Marshal Gordon would have shouted to the world if I hadn't bumped him off. The marshal killed your old man because he was working with us. Yeah, I know. That's the story you gave me to keep me on this spot, protect my father's reputation. But whether he was in with you or not, I'm stepping out of this deal right now. Now hand over those jewels, and you and your gang get off of this range. This isn't going to get you anywhere, Slade. You can't use this ranch for a cover-up without me. That's right. So you're going on just as you were, with nothing to do but keep the colonel and his daughter from knowing what's going on around here. That is, unless you'd uh, rather see them dead. And if that's the way you want it, I can handle that too. Now get out of here. And another thing. Now that that girl is back, you keep her off of the range. I don't want her bumping into us. She's liable to get hurt. You think it's smart to turn him loose like that? Yeah. I don't want any searching parties around looking for him. I'm gonna take him out of this deal. And I'm gonna do it my own way. Tonight. Honest, you didn't, mister. The hombre that's running this joint is in on the holdup. It tends to cross the border at the Garcia Rancho, where Gordon was murdered, looking for the killer. Uh huh. Anyhow. Just the sheriff didn't have any luck again, eh? <laughs> I guess not. There you are, feller. There ain't a spot on you. Yeah? Well, look at that hat. Hey, what's the matter? What's the orders? Number seven. There you are. Just said, listen, you rat. Get happy handed with that towel again, I'll shove it right down your throat. Now, listen, I told you. Oh, I shut up. up. This is the sorriest mess of folks I ever did run into. Soda plane. Lemon soda plane? <laughs> you heard me. Yes, sir. He wasn't packing that gun when he was on the stage. No. Was he, Gus? No. There you, Chef. I know that I remember who he is. Howdy, Sheriff. Any luck catching those stagecoach bandits? No, but I got a pretty good idea why. 
Yeah? Why? Your name John Robbins? That's right. The same John Robbins that spent five years in Folsom Prison up in San Francisco? Somebody must have been telling your fortune, Sheriff. He ain't denying it. I saw him when I was on the Barbary Coast, when they got him for selling hijacked goods. You rat. Get back to your swamping. Yes, sir. Guess what's this all about? Oh, nothing. Sheriff here's got my number, but he's on the wrong street. You're right, Robin. I ain't got anything on you yet. But I don't like the way he handled that hold up. He could at least let the bandits find the jewels without handing them to him. But that kind of stuff sure ties in with his reputation. But you can't hang a man on his reputation, Sheriff. That's what I say. Come on, Sheriff, and have a drink. I'm gonna buy him for the house. I'll see you later. Come on, you righty hands. Drink's on me. If you're a smart scholar, you'll throw him out of there. While he's spending his money? You know me better than that, Sheriff. Personally, I think you've got a bum steer. But since I've got a thousand dollars working in the other direction, can I help? Now you're talking sense. Don't you get it? That guy ain't down here for his help. Oh, here's Al. Here's Al. I might as well comb you out of my hair right now. Now listen, mister. I didn't mean nothing. I didn't mean nothing. I was just thinking about... About that $2,000 reward, is that it? No. No, I was just thinking about the good of the community. Good of the community? You? Don't tax your brain. Have a drink. What? You ain't sore? Sore? About what? You did me a favor. Save me the trouble of dishing out my calling card. Have a drink. <laughs> give me a, give me a whiskey. <laughs> something to say to me? Yeah. Maybe I'd better begin by apologizing for that dumb swamper of mine. Or, uh, maybe we both should thank him. That's more like it. What's on your mind? Have a drink? Never touch it. I guess it's smarter at that for a man in your business. I found it that way. Sheriff seems to think you were in on that holdup. I was in sort of a way. When you figure I followed that girl, no jewels clean across the country. What I can't understand, Robbins, is why you didn't pick them off yourself. Didn't have to. They did it for me and lugged them across the border. But you haven't got them. I'll get them. They'll have to come to me. Yeah? Why? What do you suppose a gang of cowboys are going to do with stuff like that? They'd never get rid of them. Well, I got a market all set for them up north. You have? Sure. And the gang that's got them now will be a sense to make a deal with. Why, well, I found out they're rustling cattle and sell them for $10 a head across the border and taking all the rest. Why, it's a joke. I could get them $25 a head for them 10 miles from here. They're gonna mess up their own racket like that. What do you suppose they're gonna do with a flock of valuable jewels? Wait a minute, Robbins. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Sure. I'll talk to you. It makes me very proud, Senor McCall, when cattle buyers from the big United States come to buy our building stock. Well, of course, when we want the best, we generally know where to come. Gracias. I'm ready, Senor. We will ride out and find Joe. Good. Chico, take Father in. He's been out much too long. May I help you, Senor? Uh, Chico and I will march. 
Gracias, senor, for your business. We will be very happy to see you again sometime. Well, I wish you a speedy recovery. Gracias, senor. Shall we go? If you're ready. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, senor. coming out to the range to find you. Senor McCall, our foreman, Senor Collins. How do you do? Howdy. Joe, Senor McCall has come from the United States for breeding stock. He would like to pick out... I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we haven't anything that would interest you. But, Joe, Father said the rancher was well stocked, better than ever before. Well, that, that's right to a certain extent. I was only thinking of the quality we have on hand. Well, why don't you let me be the judge of that? Well... <laughs> To tell you the truth, I don't feel up to taking to the range again this afternoon. I've had a little accident. Joe, that's a bad cut. Why didn't you say so? Oh, it's nothing serious. I was just helping the boys on the East Range with the new fence and the wire slipped. Hmm. Well, that is a pretty bad cut. You better get that taken care of right away. Yes, of course. Oh, I'm sorry about the cattle, McCall. Could you come back, say, in a day or two? Well, I suppose I could, but I hadn't planned staying over. But of course you'll be our guest, senor. We're always happy to have visitors at the rancho. Thank you. There's only one man guarding the Potter herd, so get going. Sure, it'll be a saint. The man Robbins I was telling you about is in the bar. He'll pick you up at the edge of town. It's all right with me. Tim will meet us in Yucca Pass on the Mexican side at sunup. Well, I'm glad there ain't no hard feelings, fella. Oh, forget it. Take this and buy yourself a clean shirt. <laughs> Go on, beat it. Yes, sir. All right, they're outside. Well, I guess I'll find myself a place to bed down. We don't want any trouble with you, Robin, so you better watch your step. Why don't you let the sheriff take care of that? Playing our serenade again. Uh huh. But you do not even seem to hear it anymore. I guess I've just got a lot on my mind these days. See, I know you have much on your mind. Things you do not confide in me. Things that are taking you away from me. Ah, oh, don't be a little goose. Nothing has changed. And what did you tell your father about the jewels? I told him I myself locked them up to save him the trouble. But, Joe, I can't fool him forever. I don't know about getting them back, though, honey. We... Well, we mustn't be too optimistic. Well, we'll keep on trying, but... Well, one thing, they'll have a hard time getting rid of them now that they've got them. See, that's exactly what Senor McCall was saying this afternoon, when I promised him I'd take him out on the range alone. But you First... can't go out there. Well, that is, I mean... Well, why is he in such a hurry? Why can't he wait? Joe, you're on edge. You're getting as crabby as an old woman. You're tired. That hand isn't helping any. You, you better go to bed. See? I'm sorry. I'm such a crab. You run along, look in on the Colonel. I'll... Well, I forgot to put up my horse. I'll see you and McCall first thing in the morning. Good night. Thank you. 
all. Keep Rosita away from the range. They'll kill her if she sees Russell cattle mixed. Mixed with ours. Tonight, they're... Who will kill her? Steve Slade. He, he killed Marshal Gordon. He's got the Garcia jewels. Joe! Chico!
What are you doing here now? I thought you said you'd be here at midnight. I just wiped out Joe Collins for turning yellow and threatening to squeal. Some stranger clipped me as I was getting away. Losing that sore head of yours again, huh? Now you're in a fine mess. Oh, it's nothing but a scratch. Where is the jewels? Across the border in the hideout. You and me are going after them. There's a fortune in that stuff, and we only have to split it two ways. You're crazy. The only man who can get rid of those jewels for us is just being locked up by the sheriff. Who are you talking about? John Robbins. John Robbins? You mean the Barbara Coast metal man? That's right, and I've made a deal with him to handle all of our stuff, especially those jewels. Dynamite for fellows like you and me to mess with. How'd you come to get in touch with him? Don't be a sap. He was a stranger brought in that stage. Trailed the Garcia woman from Washington. That's why he played ball with you fellows like he did. Boy, you sucker. I know John Robbins, and that wasn't him. What? I've been watching you. Now listen. You get across the border and keep your eyes on that stuff. I'll handle this only Robin. I'll meet you there at sunup. I'll get in there. Don't make a rumble, so I'll let you have it. Caught him stooping around outside the door. He would be. You and that phony partner of yours thought you were pretty smart. Come on, we'll finish him outside of town. Wait a minute. You're messing with the United States law. And when Slade goes gunning for Buck Roberts, he's walking into plenty of trouble. Buck Roberts? That's what I said. That's up to Slade. Come on, we'll tie him on his horse. Listen, who do you think you're rocks and around? Forget him, let's get out of here. So that's the plan, Sheriff. You better this place up and make it look real. I get you, Marshal. I'll lay low for your signal. I'll slip across the border and tip off the Rurali captain before I get back to Scully. Have a look. We're going to find you, Captain. Uh, si, Senor Marshal. Capitan Martinez's house is that building down there at the fence. See about uh, front and yard, Senor. Thank you. De nada, Senor. Certain, senorita, that this McCall shot Senor Joe? Si, there was no one else there. And this McCall rode off like the wind when he saw me. Hmm. What does Senor Joe say, senorita? He's still unconscious. And the doctor? He says he's not too badly hurt. 
Captain, you must get this McCall, but please stay away from the rancho. My father must not be disturbed. Si, senorita, I know. Return to the rancho. Leave this McCall to me and my rurales. Gracias, Captain. Buck. Buck. Hi, Killer. What do you want? What are you doing over there? I've been scouring this whole town for you. And so is Steve Slade with both barrels. Steve Slade? Is he in that mob? He's Scully's partner. And they're wise to every trick we've pulled. And he's gunning for you. The Marshal's my friend. Uh, did you say he went to see the Captain? Si, senor. But it's too late to cross the border. Tim must be having trouble on this side of the line. The girl thinks he shot Joe Collins. You get going and follow Scully. I'll take care of Slade. I don't have to. All right. Look, hold it. Go on like I told you. He asked for it, I'll give it to him. What's going on here? Steve Slade. Slade? Oh, that's good, Sheriff. At last we have him off our hands. Why, right there he goes. Come shoot. And why not? He's supposed to be your prisoner. He's Buck Roberts, United States Marshal. You got slayed, eh? Just the way he asked for it. What about you? Well, I lost the trail down the end of the river. Funny, a river never stopped you before, killer. Nope. But this is the dog gondest layout. First to there, then the eighth there. It just seemed to vanish like spook. What about Tim? When he ain't here, he's generally the first one on tap. Doesn't sound like Tim. Killer, we're going right into the Garcia Rancho. Gonna find out about that shooting scrape last night. Right you are. These monkeys have been pushing me around just long enough. And if anything's happened to Tim, I'm going to shoot the gizzards right out of that whole layout. Now you're talking. Here comes Tim now. Hi, fellas. Where have you been? I trailed Scully when you got yourself out of the jam at the saloon last night. Where were you? At the back door. Uh huh? I followed Slade there after he shot Joe Collins. The kid told me that it was Slade killed Marshal Gordon. And Buck got Slade last night, so that evens that score. What about the kid? He's been working with that gang. They must have had him out on a limb, though, because he came through clean with me. And Scully? In a cave down on the back ranch. The rest of the mob's there, and they've got the jewels. I grabbed their lookout, and he's hogtied to a tree down the canyon. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? OK, Rough Riders. Right again. Let's go. <laughs>
ahead and I'll pick up Scully. Come on, Sam. Get out of here. over to Captain Martini. Thanks, Captain. I am too very proud of you, my boy. Thank you, Colonel. But the real credit belongs to... Goodbye. So long. Adios. I'm going to tell you something. There I was, sitting in my hotel in Texas. Just about to get hitched to the prettiest little witty you ever set your eyes on. <laughs> when I got that fool message of yours saying to meet you here in Mesa City. Thought you said we were through with this manhunting business. Well, we couldn't turn Bat Madison down, could we? Of course we couldn't. I was tickled to death to get your message. You know, running a ranch like I've been doing up in Wyoming, a fellow's liable to get old-fashioned and settle down or something. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Buck, how are you doing down this state? Oh, right? fair to meddling. I wish you fellas would drop off for a little while and, you know, sit around. Not me. I'm heading for Texas. And I'm heading for Wyoming. Well, so long, Rough Riders. So long, Rough Riders. So long, Rough Riders. Rough Riders, like, beware. The Rough Riders, like, think care. There's a fine little of fighters in the land. Chasing every rustler and gorilla man. The Rough Riders, watch the trail. Oh, no. 